try to clean this cage. So um, I thought I would give an update on how these little guys look since we've hatched them. Where are you going? Hmm? Where are you going? Hi. <laughs> Huh? It's like he doesn't do a lot. He just pooped on me. He just goes further in. What are you guys doing? I'm trying to clean the cage. You're naughty. It's really easy. I'm trying to clean the cage. You're naughty. This one looks like this. This one is, these guys are all three weeks old. So this is this guy. Um, so the first couple days old to three weeks. This one, hello. This one here, the little black one that just keeps trying to bite me. Come in, come on. Hello. This one here looks like this now, and this is what it looked like when it was born, or hatched. And this little stinker, come here, come on, come on. Oh, you wanna be difficult, come here. Okay, this guy here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come on. This one, this one's my favorite, and I really hope it's a pullet. So this one come from a, a red egg, or a red hen's egg, so a brown egg. And the brown hens are actually uh, sex links. So the when they come out, they should be yellow or red. <laughs> you guys are just so naughty. Are they naughty, Molly? So this one, this one has me confused because when it was born, come here. When it was born, it was like this and it had like lighter colored legs, but now it's turning more of like an Easter egg or leg. See that? So I don't know whether this one's a cockerel or a pullet. I'm really hoping it's a pullet because I really love the disposition of this one. It's so fun and stuff and uh, just really a nice little bird. And this little troublemaker here looked like this. Hello. It's kind of got laced feathers. <laughs> Come on. Come here. See the lacing? They're not true lacing, but I don't know what you would call this. But, come here. This one is a, I'm pretty sure it is a pullet. Got the green legs. Hi, hello, how you doing? Okay. I'm pretty sure this one here is a cockerel, this guy. And the reason I think that is because um, the feathering is coming in later. And I've done a lot of research and just from my experience with these birds is that when they come in later, like the feathering comes in later with these specific ones that I have, they tend to be boys. So, um, come here little one. So this one was the first one that hatched, I believe. Now this one, I'm certain is a pullet. Look at the feathering, it's so pretty. And it, jeez, <laughs> you guys. The feathering on this is really pretty. Okay. You're so talkative. Got the little eyeliner going on. Easter egg legs. Hi, you're so, you're so grumpy. You're just so cute, yeah. Little roo roo. Okay. Who did we miss? Did we get you? Did we get 
you? I don't know. Careful, little one. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. Up, up, up. There you go. The boys are both from Red Hens. And yeah, they really look like their parents. I can totally tell who looks like who. So, and these guys here, like this one is from a Red Hen. Hello. This is a pullet because of the coloring as far as I know. But um, because I have the, they have the sex, sex link braiding in them crossed with an Easter egg. -er. So as far as I know, I think I have three boys. So this one's a boy. This white one here is a boy. And I think that little black one is a boy. And then the rest should be pullets. Hopefully this one is too. This little one come from a red hen and it's confusing to me. It's much smaller than the other, the other one. But look at its legs. It has, it's turning green like the Easter egger. So I'm not sure because it's a... <laughs> oh goodness, little one. Does not like being handled. Um, it has those green legs. So, and it's got really dark skin. So I'm not sure. What are you guys trying to escape to now? You guys are terrible little things. <laughs> Okay, let's see what you're gonna do, you guys. Feed. <laughs> okay, there's one more. The one. Does not like being handled very much, but this one looked like this. And I'm pretty sure it is a pullet. This one come, I think also from a red egg or a red hen. I'm not sure. Look at the feathering. They're so pretty. There you go. So yeah, that's it. Hey, big guy. Look at you. Another week, they'll be able to go out once they have some feathers, not outside, but into a very, very warm coop made for them. It's kind of a brooder coop. Of course you did. What do you see up there? Oh, there's chickens loose in my house. Hi guys, can I finish cleaning your cage? Hi. Hi, can I finish? Where are you going, little, little chicken little? <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this little video and um, enjoy seeing how they have developed and grown. Ooh, careful, graceful. I would say if you have chicks in a small little cage like this, getting something like this and something like that is totally worth it. They really like to play with these, especially when they were little. And if you take it away for one day and put it back, they stay so much more engaged and they don't fight or pick on each other. And they also make less of a mess by running back and forth. So yeah. Hi guys. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.